Well, this hair. This hair. We came, we saw, we conquered. This hair. This hair. We're out of here. Shamanada, Canada. You are the nicest people in the world. You are so nice. Americans could use some lessons. <laughs> yes. And I don't mean that mean if you're American. You're probably just a rude dick. It's too early for the D word. Way too early for the D word. Jerk, sorry. I woke up and I was listening to nice Christmas music and Jackson's got no. to drop that hard D no, right you now. you've been awake. I'm surprised you're not the one swearing. You've been awake for five Four hours? Four and a half hours. I couldn't sleep last night. My back hurts so bad. It's okay. It's gonna help me bring this baby boy in the world. Anyways, we're leaving you, Canada. Miss you, Mr. Bam. Bam Hotel. I feel so bad for the Thank you so much. valet. They probably just freeze their cute little butts up. Oh, you know, it's negative 26. They refuse tips here. They do? But I gave them a tip anyway. That was nice of you. We got 60 more bucks. That's going to be a souvenir for Coop. <laughs> Except for Elliot, it's lunch. <laughs> done and done. Here's a, here's a, everybody always asks me for finance tips. Here's a tip. Your last check that you ever write should bounce. Ah, think about that. In your life? Yep. Well, Before I'm you sure. die? Yep. You should spend all your money. Don't give any to anybody. Goodbye, Canada. Can't say I won't miss you that much because you're freaking cold, but it's beautiful. Look at this. Winter Wonderland. And Yosemite. Yeah, everyone here, we know, Jackson will put a seatbelt on. Here in that yeah. ding, oh, I'm not saying, here ding. in Yosemite are cool, two of the coolest places, and Lake Powell. Yeah. We've been some cool places. Lake Powell's cool, but this was pretty awesome, honey bunny. Plus they got donuts here. Plus the exchange rate is pretty awesome. <laughs> People hate when you say that. Sorry, Canadians. Um, in the comments, it's so funny to read how many of you like the tiniest things bother you. Like in America, we say it's negative 10, minus 10. It's like the same thing. If someone were to tell me, oh yeah, it's negative 10 degrees today or oh, minus 10, 10, I wouldn't be like, you're lame. It's, you say negative. It's just funny to like see the little things that are different. Or like in Canada, everything is called, or bathrooms are called washrooms, not bathrooms. Because a washroom to me is like the laundry room. But I kind of love those little things that make you unique and like set you apart. And what else? Oh, the cabin is a cottage. And I like how you guys use the word sorry as like an interjection. Like you didn't hear somebody like, sorry? Like what was that? And then you say, not sorry, sorry. It's just really cute. Whitney. Actually, I kind of love it. We think of our friend Whitney McNeil when we're here and I hear people say, sorry. I'm like, Whitney? <laughs> is that what made you think of her? Sorry. Sorry? Sorry. Sorry. Um, oh, I just well, can't stop vlogging these mountains. These peaks are too beautiful. With that sun hitting it, right? Isn't that so pretty, you guys? My can you car sick? Too bad. What were you saying, honey? Um, if I ever come back here, the only thing I'm going to bring. We are coming back here. When we come back in the winter, <laughs> is mittens and some Canada Goose Down uh, or heavy duty snow pants. Yes. Have to get and you know what would be nice, this is kind of dorky, but my <laughs> motorcycle helmet while I'm skiing, just to cover my whole face, <laughs> that would be awesome. Anyways, here is the town of Bam. For those of you, I don't know if we vlogged this yet. I want a Land Rover! I want a Range Rover! It's very pretty. I mean, hey YouTube. <laughs> okay, it's working. Look what I bought. We're getting a souvenir for Coop and poor Elliot. And we're getting him this little bear. Do you think that is cute? He's not even born yet, but he's gonna have this little moose. It's cute that you wanted to buy him one. Is this too young for Cooper? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay, well, what should we I'll get him? Help you. Our plane? 
the front wheel is broke. Oh, I thought it was a steering wheel. The wheels on the ground broke, so they had to reset them. It deleted the work. So we're stuck on the plane for an hour. So I've been reading this for book and okay. my eyes are sore. That's your, what's that book called? Sapiens. You like it? It's so educational. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> we're still flying in the clouds. Oh look, there's Seattle. makes you think of Twilight and vampires. Anyone else? Guys, our day is pretty lame today because it's a travel day. Um, it's not really like a lot. We could just vlog. I mean, besides that fist fight Jackson got in in the airport, that weird jello wrestling match that I got in. But other than that, like our day was pretty boring, right? Yeah, all in a day. <laughs> so, I think what trips me out the most about traveling is the fact that we woke up in Canada today so early, freezing cold, we're just in Canada, and now we're driving home and we're gonna go to bed in our beds tonight. That always like, not freaks me out, but shows me how cool traveling really is. Human invention and innovation is cool because we were in Calgary, Alberta, went on a flying chunk of metal to Washington. Another flying chunk of metal to Utah, and then we drove a not quite so big chunk of metal to Idaho. <laughs> you know what's kind of frustrating? It's not boring. anybody's fault. Just three states in one province. Sorry, go ahead. No, you're fine. Tell about what happened. Um. Oh, K3 ideas that are. This is like what it's like to have ADD. Both of us, and we're both are like bing 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 bing. When he said driving home it reminded me so it's Saturday night we're driving home at 9 51 p.m. tonight we're gonna go to church tomorrow at 11 get done at 2 and then turn back around at 4 o'clock head back down to Utah for my grandma's like annual Christmas party um, so it's a little bit a lot but it's not that bad it's an hour drive which is a lot of travel but we'll get Cooper back and that will be really fun and it's like my grandma's big Christmas party in Santa. I think Santa's gonna be there. Like basketball so last that year. Could be fun. Oh yeah, you did, huh? Didn't you roll your ankle? No. No? That was the last time I played basketball. <laughs> so. You did a good job. You got all sweaty and um tell them you wanted me to tell them what happened. Yeah, about your uh mishap at the airport, how we almost got oh. freaking stranded. Well, Carly has this thing called pregnancy brain and we were going down to line up by our gate to get on our flight. We are just waiting to board. And I was like, oh, I better go pee one more time. Because, you know, when you're pregnant, you have to pee all the time. It's a thing. And I come out of the bathroom and Jackson's standing right there with all our stuff. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, I just left you at the gate. And he's like, they just announced your name they have at the service desk. And I was like, what? And then all of a sudden he looks at me and he's like, where's your passport? And I was like, it's my bag. It's in my purse. <laughs> And we had just been like teasing each other for 20 minutes about how much stuff I put in my purse. Women, you feel me on this one? And Jackson was teasing about the straps on this bag that they're like the worst because he was being a gentleman and carrying my bag for me in the airport. So then I was like ruffling through my bag and I'm like, I don't know where my passport's at. So we're frantically walking down to the help desk because it's about to board our flight. And the lady's like, yep, this was left for you in the, wa this was left in the washroom, the bathroom. And I like had a little meltdown and cried because it's so frustrating to not be in control of your thoughts. And like, and by that I mean, I'm in control of my thoughts, but it's so weird that it wasn't even a thought in my head. Where's my passport? I lost it. It could have been in the, like I left it in the bathroom, like literally just gone. I was like, I don't know. Good. It's real good. A little meltdown. Yeah, luckily some kind soul in Canada turned it in. Didn't try to be a Russian. That's what I look like in my passport. Yeah. Turned it in and they called us and we got it before. But now that I think about it, we had already gone through customs, so we would have made it home just fine. Oh. Because we didn't need your passport again. I did but have to show it one more time. Remember right when we got on the plane? But she just like 
glanced at it. Yeah. You might have been able to show him your ID or something. I don't know. Maybe not. But Canadians are nice. She lost her passport, but then found it. And uh, all is not lost. We had we had first class seats because out of every flight we've ever gone on together, that was the only time we flew first class. Usually it's a huge waste of money, but we had a voucher, so it was sweet. Yeah. Oh, I almost dropped the camera. It was nice. But the first, on the way there, we were on smaller planes, so it didn't really make a difference. But on the way back, that last plane was really nice. Yeah, that was awesome. Had, had bigger seats there. and got to watch a movie. I, I fell asleep. Did you take a picture of me? No. I was getting because your mouth was open. It's, when you fall asleep sitting up, you, you, you end up like this, your mouth. It's because your lips are so big, they just pull themselves just down. <laughs> I mean, I'm jealous. I want my lips to be that big. Um, so anyways, today's vlog is kind of going to be late. my mom and sister met us at the airport. My mom drove our car, my sister followed in her car, just to drop off our car so we could hop in and drive away. So nice. Extremely nice. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Rachel. So nice. You don't have to take the shuttle out to the parking lot. Love you, Rufus. Parking and pay for the parking. It was just so nice that they always help us do it that. It saves us like 40 bucks. It saves us a lot of money and time and stress and struggling because Jackson had his bag, his backpack, his ski boots, and his ski bag, which was a huge bag. And then I had two roller bags, I know, and my purse. So we were like struggling through the airport. Can you imagine getting on one of those shuttle buses with all that? How many coats did you take to Canada? Don't talk about it. And then I ended up buying one because it was so cold. How much so, was the coat so you bought? Way, I bought a really nice coat that I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna need another coat as long as I live. <laughs> um, when we left this morning in Canada, it was, it got down, I think, to like minus 30. And when we got to Utah, it was about 30 degrees. So it was about 60 degrees Fahrenheit difference. And literally, we walked outside in Salt Lake Airport. And normally, I would have been cold, but I had been acclimated to the Banff weather. And it was like, yeah, look, I'm not even some, that cold. Put some hair on his chest. <laughs> I'm not even cold. Okay, Jackson and I looked at each other. I'm like, do you feel cold? No. Do you feel like, oh, this feels great. We don't even feel cold. Let's go put our sun, our bathing suits on. <laughs> so thanks, Canada. Thanks for making us a little tougher. We did tell, um, we saw this cute little new newlywed couple. They're the claps. They're the claps. K L A P P S. Go say hi to them from us. They came up and talked to us. They're just starting their vlog channel. But um, we They've told them to shorts. They're what? Doing short. Oh, short films. Yeah. With you knowing all the term all terminology. I'm gonna be a full-time vlogger soon. But they ran into us and they we were telling them we're like this feels great. It's not even that bad. Is that what I was gonna tell them? I don't know because you brought up something else. I don't think that's what you told them. But... I don't know because you went into too many different topics. But guess what we're gonna do now? It's seven minutes of us talking. We're gonna go get our dogs tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up early and go get them. We called the place to see if we could get them tonight, but they they're closed. We're kind of bummed. But okay, we love you. Today was just a travel day. Sorry, we're kind of boring. I thought it'd be fun to give you guys like travel tips and our annoyances in the airport. But then I could also just feel like going super negative because you know, I don't know. people are so nice in Canada. Yeah. And they're a bunch of jerks in America. Oh, well, that's what I was gonna say. We told this cute little couple how nice Canada was and how nice Canadians were and how clean the country was and everybody there obeys the speed limit yeah the funny part and is the they're food really is better the food's delicious they're really obnoxious in movies canadians <laughs> are obnoxious in movies but they're the nicest human it's like laughing like nobody gets mad that the guy was having a full-on conversation with us in the middle of the star wars <laughs> is movie. that the 3d movie <laughs> i forgot i told how to forget he gets up because i was like sorry guys i didn't even know you know it was cute in normal voice not in movie cute. voice anyways you guys proud of us keeping up with vlogmas whoop, whoop. We have not missed one day not one so thanks for watching we love you so much and we'll see you tomorrow when our whole family is reunited <laughs>